Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to move into the supply raid. Uh, we're playing Royal Rumble as a campaign, 90 plus mods installed, all of which make my life a living hell. And so far the missions have already delivered. I mean for the first few missions we've seen in between... 15 and 30 enemies um, many of them can one shot us we've already seen a few casualties so far so it's actually uh, just like you would expect from a royal rumble and today in operation god giant we're going to meet the dark elders which i deliberately would not call dark elders we're not playing warhammer 40k here these are uh, psionic escapes uh, of uh, advent prisons or uh, test facilities and they are now trying to capture the same uh, supplies that we are uh, capturing. We got a nice little team and finally a five-man squad uh, thanks to Grell who's our highest ranking soldier and we we want to uh, continue doing that. We're fighting outside in the wilderness and uh, we brought Hogbite with us for the first time so Let's hope that he can get some uh, kills and become that like frontline tank which we know him for. We got Roby as well and Andors. Uh, the only thing that we're missing are Grenadiers. So unfortunately we're a little bit shy on grenades. We have only three of them. Not the best starter uh, for, a, uh, for an early mission where cover removal is so key. But I'm sure with two melee units we will... Uh, make our way around that and we also got two specialists so double eight protocol is a real thing let's see how well we're going to do good we have just landed this is a non-timed mission which really plays in our favor so concealment comes at an extra premium here if we play our cards right and just stay concealed for now, there should be a real possibility that um, we can let both of the other factions fight one another. Without us needing to deal with any of them for the beginning. Okay, so moving on. Moving on target location. On my way. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. That's a Marauder. Not really sure who he is belonging to. It seems like normal Advent, but Marauders also are their own faction. <laughs> Marauders are also their own faction, right? So there's a chance that he's actually belonging to another faction. Let's take a good look. Hopefully this does not trigger. All right, it does not. Quite the contrary. We're moving up. Unfortunately, there's not enough room up there to position all three of the enemies, uh, all three of our soldiers. And high ground seems to be rare in this mission as well. So I'll be careful. Maybe for now we're just staying down here. Dark elders seem to seem to move somewhere behind the scenes. Uh, that's okay. Hawkbite will be our scout, so to speak. Closely followed by Roby. And I mean, we could. 
could, I suppose, do this, right? Not a perfect option, but still okay. Yeah, we gotta be careful that that Marauder doesn't walk into us. A perch sectored. Their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater bionic potential. All right, that looks nasty. Good. So the perch sectored, I think, would potentially have fiery, fiery plasma. He has a similar amount of hit points, but. He does have uh, armor, which makes it a bit different. Uh, you you will need to strike him in melee and either one-shot him or yeah, deal with him in a different form. Still trying to find that good old Moving the designated position. Dark Elder faction so that they can actually run into one another. These guys here seem to be from the same faction because they do have the same color of their of their nameplates. Position confirmed. Rel moves down and overall we're just going to overwatch. This here looks like a stun lancer. Yep, good old Advent stun lancer. It's funny though, with all of the new enemies, the normal stun lancer, which is already uh, pretty threatening when when they come online for the very first time, Onward. is actually surprisingly mild, because most of the other guys are just more threatening, I suppose. Right, somewhere in here is where the Dark Elders are located. Just gotta find that somewhere. This is, by the way, fantastic high cover here, uh, high ground here. And I think we will resettle over to here this is a much better broader uh, range to play from Getting it done. so time for a full-fledged migration That's one of our vulnerable states. We do not want to move directly into them. Enters moves up. Rel moves up, Ataxia could move up as well. Moving to position. Running. You have my trust. No one gets by me. Roger. I've got my eyes on All right, so far we're good. Uh, all of this positioning will pay off uh, eventually when we do have the high ground. And I still hope that the Dark Elders will run into those guys. As it stands. On the move. Uh, they seem to be quite content where they are, where they are staying. So they are not moving, it's not a patrol. Commander. a little bit further Moving out. 
All right. For now, we're good. Just need to push on and see if we can find some Dark Elders that are moving into them. Nothing there. And after this repositioning, we do have a really, really good position. So might as well just overwatch and wait for a second. See if any of uh, the other factions comes along. I trust in your command. Stay clear of those turrets. We're still not in It's a nasty turret. It's definitely one of those options where you could use a combat protocol. What is that? It looks like a scrotum that is flying. Sort of. It's a ridiculous design um, for an artwork. How does that thing even move forward i vaguely remember having seen those in the original ufo um, games but boy oh boy to victory. i mean from a from a threat level what i liked about those perch uh, units is they had fantastic sound uh, quality the uh, voiceovers were just absolutely well well done let's do this that flying ball sack on the other hand is an example of how to not design an enemy it just doesn't look really scary but okay maybe i am Maybe I'm unfairly discriminating against uh, the scrotum. The path is clear. All right, come on. Can't be that difficult to find Dark Elders, can it? Well, it seems the plan of letting the elders run into them has more or less failed us. I will say, though, that in order to engage with the enemies here, we well, gotta be a bit careful. Roby moves up, and we're just pulling our forces together now. I, see the path. I gave up on the Dark Elder plan. We're putting one person in range with a grenade to get rid of the tower. The explosion hopefully will destroy the ceiling, and then the tower collapses and immediately dies. Otherwise, we do indeed have a problem. Sorry. The scrotum and uh, the other packs will come and join the fight soon-ish. So might as well position ourselves nicely over here. Move, move, move. Moves up. And 
we are moving up as well. I can do that. And full cover. Okay, so next turn we're going to engage. Good. The core question here is, do we want to engage with a grenade? And potentially the right answer should be yes. We'll destroy some of the loot. But the crate should also explode and deal extra damage. Might even kill the stun lancer. So let's go for that. This pack in itself is already quite difficult to deal with. At first, Advent deployed non lethal stun units for crowd control and the occasional protest. We don't see a whole lot of that anymore. Menace 1 5, watch those supply crates. If you destroy them, there won't be anything left for us to recover once the area is secure. Good, we're putting Hawkbutt on an aid protocol. And then the tower needs to die. Sounds like a plan, Saiken. Well, we can all agree it was a plan. You have never said it was a good plan. Killing the stun lancer would definitely be the right play here. We gotta feed Hawkbite with kills. This fuels up uh, the focus. Can't parry yet, so we're actually okay. And we gotta deal with a drone first. Let's do this. Moving over here. Drone is down. Fantastic. That would need to be max damage. I much rather go and continue hitting the tower. Else wise, we do not really have any great alternatives against uh, the tower. Perch sector is a problem. This here is outside of tower range and completely outside of the vision of the sector, but unfortunately not outside of the vision of the scrotum. Another Marauder comes up. Damn that thing. What? Four points of damage? Alright, so the Scrotum apparently can spit acid. And now at least these guys are fighting against one another. Okay, the elders seem like uh, as if they would uh, be working a lot with dodging. Apparently, holy shit, six points of damage. The model animation is fantastic. 
Oh, and they do have poison weapons. That witch somehow teleported over and could melee attack. That's nasty. It, it feels like all of the enemies have just absolutely OP abilities. They can crit for six points of damage. Whilst hitting quite quite nicely. Decent chance to hit, but maybe not to kill. I think we should rather go for that turret here. There we go. Good. Which means we can pull our forces together. Roder could be a kill. I like it. We know that they are fighting over here. But I think we are going to just take a close formation and that means high ground. That could be a kill. I think there was no other uh, known unit uh, and those crates here will actually give us complete vision cover so this here is a relatively secure spot We're at max focus, like it, I like it. We still do not have uh, the ability to parry, which is why we're hiding here, just behind the crates. A scrotum also has a poison cloud. And the normal aliens, that, or the um, Advent faction here, seems to have taken really the the short end of the stick completely because they are squeezed in between us and the elders, and the elders seem like an OP faction. Seventy-five percent hit chance. That's ten better than the normal uh, Advent, and they do have poison rounds on top of it. Oh boy. Okay, full cover. Now oh, we're already in full cover, which is great. So let's give Hawk by Donate Protocol. And then let's get the Dark Elder down. Who's keeping score? Can't really reach uh, them. Not yet. We'll cover over here as well. Dark Elder. Was that supposed to call uh, to be witch? Maybe they were. I'm not that 
not that deep into uh, 40k lore. Maybe it's a wish uh, or wish. Uh, you will. F uh, I'm sure someone who is a Dark Elder fan will figure that out. But it reads like witch. Anyways, they seem to be a melee unit. Uh, you would have never guessed with the two massive daggers that they have within their hands. The move up. Don't like it. I like full cover. And what I like even more than full cover is killing enemies. There we go, Vault. Good fucking job, Hawkbite. Love it. You're the man. And let's take the option to reload Overwatch. And we're going into very full, solid cover and Overwatching. Now, we're dealing with, uh, I think, two or three more of these guys. Uh, two more. Well, that was nasty. Let's healing up. Uh, let's heal him up. Time to get rid of this warrior. There we go. Focus is back. Occupied is solving some of our problems here. Come on. Ah, there we go. How many is that now? I'm a little bit greedy, so we're trying to loot the scrotum. Ah, in an area core, I was hoping for a weapon attachment. Roger that. It might be the end of the mission. Not sure. Cosa c'è lì? D'accordo. Status Yep, and that was it. The Dark Elders are no joke. Those guys are serious business. So the only reason why that went as well as it did is we our position was high ground and we managed to kind of squeeze the um the aliens in between us and the Dark Elders. And I must say, just for beginner units, having uh, poison standard uh, weapons, like that's Viper Rounds from the get-go, they deal as much damage as equivalent um, Advent units at the moment, plus 10 to hit. Then they got dodge on top of them. It's just, in all ways, if you were to let like a pack of those um, five Dark Elders fight against five um, Advents, I would say they would be coming um, out on top maybe nine, nine and a half out of ten times. It, it's severely stronger. And it showed again, I mean, we're, we've uh, fought like, again, 16 or 17 enemies here. Um, a massive pack size just overall and immediately all of them were triggered well 
Roby got a promotion, but unfortunately also got uh, shafted quite badly. Not bad. Let's see what we got. So we got ourselves three Elarium cores. That is fantastic. I like it. Elarium crystals uh, is okay. Intel isn't bad either because we can make contact with the next region. Lots of corpses which are irrelevant for us at this point. Celatid is what the name of these were. I will continue calling them scrotums for now because they just look like that. Um, and we got supplies quite a few actually and alien alloys which is helpful as well so that's all around uh, a happy happy mission and we're actually starting to snowball the game what is happening i was expecting more and more enemies but let's not get cocky xcom has the ability to sucker punch you every uh, second and the moment that you start feeling safe that is when the the game gets to you black market i think we're going to do that first we don't have uh, we we wouldn't have the time to immediately uh, make contact before the supply drop so might as well get the black market now before the supply drop and essentially afterwards uh, so sell uh, sell there and then wait uh, until the end of the month so that they can restock. In terms of arm, uh, armory, we need more grenadiers. We still only got two, if you look at it. So Barbie is the second one and I would like to get a few more. So, getting her into that yellowish color of a grenadier. That's good. We got a solid team together now. And we could buy alloys, uh, crystals. Ooh, this is valuable. This is very valuable. Yeah, we're not going to make contact yet. That was too valuable to pass pass by. Bennett Magazine isn't bad either, but nah, I think that it's not worth the 30 intel. But that one definitely was. Uh, trooper corpses we need. Purifiers we can give. Uh, drone wrecks we can give. The others are not specifically interested, so might as well wait for now. We got enough supplies. And let's get the rookies and then the next step would be to make contact. So this here should give us enough, um, enough extra rookies. In terms of covert action, we want to go and get a Reaper. I think that would be worthwhile doing. We have no quick uh, missions, so might as well locate uh, the faction and and get going with it. I also want to tr continue training these guys, so I'm a bit torn. But I think letting Gren uh, Grell run uh, this show and letting Hawkbite get that extra one help uh, to become a better tank uh, will be worth it. It will be worth it. So let's get a Reaper. Just trying to widen our roster because, believe it or not, with all of uh, the always gravely wounded uh, uh, soldiers, we will potentially 
be running two or three teams, which from a viewer standpoint is great because your favorite character will eventually uh, be swapped in, but maybe also die. Uh, so harsh reality is we are going to have losses likely. Avatar project progresses. And we got a few rookies. Let's see who just joined. So we got Slicinator here. Welcome. We got Taurus. Welcome. Uh, we got uh, Wilson the second. Welcome. He's definitely new. And Hayward made it on board as well. So four rookies. That's a good uh, chunk. Uh, Synapse. I think was here beforehand, but yeah, we got a deeper roster now. And uh, we do not have enough to make contact, not enough intel. Might as well fly to the black market and wait until until the month ends so that the black market refills we're just hours away from it anything else that i should be looking for we could build faster i mean that's a good generally good skin for us heal faster wouldn't be bad either but I think for now, scanning is okay. There's the end of the month. And we got to almost 250. That is good. That is very good. Fighting against one chosen at the moment. Brutal crackdown, permanently lowering uh, our resources. I would want to um, get rid of the... Uh, UFO, that is a problem. Risk of ambush on our covert actions is not a problem, or we can let that go through. I don't know what the third hidden dark event would be. We're definitely going with extra timers. Uh, that is almost mandatory with the setup that we're running. Currently, we don't need to scan, and we can go to the black market a little bit later. I'm conscious that we're using the time efficiently. Every time you fly, you waste six to eight hours. So even in, in the short flights, they still take six to eight hours. Funnily enough, the long flights also take just as much. So I'm always trying to be mindful not to fly too often. Um, and instead, let's try to get the training center and to the clearing uh, done a little bit faster. Good, so we got another facility, which also means the Avatar will continue to, to move on. Maybe we can actually go for Western Europe first. It's not too bad, I, I like the idea. And we got a new mission, this time for an engineer, which is great and enough intel to expand. Dark Elder Raiders are on this mission, and it is a lost mission as well. Ooh, that's one of those standard lost missions where where you do have um, a, a single operative uh, defending that engineer. Uh, and since the lost no longer fall over just by being shot once, it's actually going to become a quite difficult mission plus it is one of those missions where almost uh, surely the chosen will be uh, coming in maybe just maybe i should uh, begin to research the lost corpses next i am still hard at work on the current research priority commander commander with the advent office haven't even gotten a single lost yet Well, okay. 
and we need to do that as well um, in order to get PCSs. Speaking about which, we can't yet get PCSs, can we? So let's just double check. Personal combat sims. Oh yeah, we can do it. Okay. So who is the right uh, recipient for per, uh, for such a good PCS? I mean, sharpshooters come to mind. They definitely need to hit. Unfortunately, Dilly G is out of commission for now. But I think it would not be it would not be uh, completely unheard of to give him that personal combat uh, sim seven aim is quite good i mean he's getting almost to a hundred now with uh, the sidearm uh, the shadow uh, shadow stalk or whatever the pistol sidearm is called that would be even a hundred which for a sergeant is quite good uh, that means with high ground he can almost ignore um, partial cover and uh, hit uh, enemies with dodge quite well so with um, an upgrade on the sniper rifles that would be good if we can give him some ammunition on top that would be fantastic but all of that is in the future we first of all need to clear here the scanning hasn't really done much uh, to progress the quicker building at least not noticeably training center went down by two days but i think we really did not make that much progress um so yeah next one here will be uh, an energy and then afterwards we might want to go for proving grounds but that's it, Re really. Uh, we first of all need to do this um, quite hard mission with a loss without much help. Uh, but that will happen in two days. If you like what you've seen, uh, now is a good time to sneak around um, and flank that uh, like button. Then crit it and tell me about it in the comments down below. Anyways, take, a go uh, take good care and see you in two, uh, two days, guys. Bye-bye.